My name is Simone, and I'm a social entrepreneur from the UK. Um, and what I've realized is that my koha, my gift, or the greatest gift I can give anyone else, is to help people realize um, their capacity to make a positive change in the world. Please turn over. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> um, I come from an architectural background, uh, but for the last six years I've been running a social enterprise in uh, Bristol in the UK that supports uh, young people, especially young artists, to learn enterprise, um, which allows them to turn their creative practice into a uh, source of um, income, uh, allowing them to do what they love for a living. Um, I've, I'm very proud to say that I've uh, managed to turn a £1,000 grant into a uh, full four-storey building training centre for young people. Um, <laughs> Entrepreneurial, uh, <laughs> and um, that that building includes a co-working space for creative professionals, uh, which we um, the way the model works is that we have uh, we sell membership to our co-working space, and then we use that money to uh, train young people um, to learn enterprise, um, and also that gives us a pool of young people, um, sorry, of um, particular uh, skilled people uh, that could be mentors, potential employers or just give advice to the young people that are coming through. So um, that gives you a bit of an idea of what I've been doing in the UK. Um, <clears throat> what I'm really fascinated in is uh, entrepreneurial spirit, and actually what it is that gives uh, people that, that bold step to move from um, seeing a potential challenge and, and then seeing that challenge as something that they can solve, so turning challenge into opportunity. And I'm really interested in, in that space and how I can support especially young people to, to bridge that gap. Um, <clears throat> so uh, a lot of the young people that I work with, uh, young creatives, they, uh, they, they fascinate me. I think they're incredible because mostly they really want to, um, to, to build businesses that support others rather than looking at sort of financial gain. They're really interested in, in starting small social enterprises. So I've done quite a lot of work in uh, supporting young people. Um, so yeah, young people fascinate me. I think they're incredible, but actually all people fascinate me. Um, I think you're all incredible creatures um, with uh, you know, really unique perspectives and unlimited potential. And potential is something that I'm really keen to, to help with. Um, I really love turning people's potential into something that they can do for the rest of their life. Um, so, from working with lots of social entrepreneurs and being a social entrepreneur myself, uh, what I've seen is that um, as entrepreneurs we take on way too much, we want to do things really quickly, we take loads of risk and we end up with loads of work and we really want to do it, um, which is amazing, but what that leads to is uh, long working days, uh, lots of stress, anxiety and eventually burnout. So uh, you can't pour from an empty cup. Um, you can't take care of other people if you can't take care of yourself. So this is something that I've had to learn for myself and something that I want to uh, support other social entrepreneurs in Aotearoa, New Zealand, but also uh, globally to find respite within themselves so that they, um, so they have the strength to tackle large, demanding global issues. Um, I'm just going to skip that bit. <laughs> um, so I was going to tell you a little bit about the business that I want to bring here. It's called Flow. Um, so Flow, in one sentence, is collective restoration to achieve global transformation. Um, it would become a physical place here in Otero, New Zealand, um, eventually, um, where people can um, come together, find respite, to network and to start working together to solve some of the world's problems. Um, so flow is, um, I guess, it represents the flow of life. Also, flow represents um, the mental state of being in flow and being really like on your game and really enjoying what you're doing. Um, but it also represents harmony and balance. And um, flow represents Mother Nature. So that uh, um, our ability to connect with our natural environment with each other and work on projects uh, that help us achieve common goals. Um, so it would be a physical destination uh, that hopefully would give people that space to be able to rekindle their passion for what it is they do, 
but I also understand social entrepreneurs. I know you can't just get them to take a couple of weeks out. Um, so the idea is that there would be a theme every month that would be around climate change or supporting young people or preventing poverty in certain parts of the world. And that would hopefully draw people in um, and then they can build on their collective knowledge. So collective flow is this idea that we all have something to bring to the table. And if we bring it all at the same time together and we have the space to be ourselves and think clearly and make good decisions, we can start building on that together um, and hopefully come up with new solutions. And the idea that this, um, this destination brings people on from all over the world so we get diverse perspectives, but also that those people can take those new solutions back to their places. So it starts, it's a, a place, place for collective restoration that through this network we can achieve global transformation. And I guess these images aren't, you know, this is still a concept. This, this is not images of this place. This is uh, very much uh, to come. Um, and what I'm really interested in is how I can support young people uh, to be a part of this conversation. You know, all this diverse, um, incredible, amazing minds like there's in the room. Can you imagine if there was young people from disadvantaged backgrounds who hadn't had this kind of exposure sat in this room with us today and what that might do for them over a period of a year and how that you can take those young people and uh, pop them back into their communities and then you know they'd be the people who can make the real serious change in their local communities. So it's all about creating potential and providing opportunities for young people. And I'd just like to finish with uh, this quote which is, um, we do not think ourselves into new ways of living, we live ourselves into new ways of thinking. Kia ora.